Oh, champions, I have a banging Bitcoin technical analysis for you today. That means it is going to be good. We're going to be taking a deep dive into the charts today. Following off of the feedback from my last video, you loved me looking at the order flow and sharing those insights. So I'm going to be doing it again today. Let's take a deep look into the order flow. Let me explain what's going on. This most perfect reaction that we've just seen on Bitcoin up at the local highs here for a massive dump to the down. Downside. We're going to be going over the all important question what is coming next? Have we actually just front run the all time highs here by 0.3%? And we're looking for that pre elections fake out and the big move to the downside. Or is this just in fact another overall higher low and continuation? I'm going to be going over all the secrets that you need to know inside this chart. What are the bigger players doing? What are we looking for next with high quality, proven? trade setups. So it's going to be a very good one. All I ask of you is one simple thing, and that is that you pay attention to each and every second of this video, because if I'm talking, it is important when it comes to the charts. I know what I'm talking about. I've got a proven track record publicly on the trading competitions, on showing my account p &L. We've made the millions, and now I am here to share to help you too. So I think it's going to be a very good one indeed. Let's see. And well, let's just get straight into it, right? Picking up where I left off my last video. So yeah, if you haven't watched it, make sure you've watched that video first, because I was explaining at the time while we were still up here, we were actually forming that initial impulse looking at the triangle, right? And I was explaining why we need to wait for a larger pullback to the downside before we can get interested any longs. Why was that? Well, a big heads up for me was the order flow. And I just want to recap what I was looking at there and how that played out. So just to remind you, if you have forgotten, um, we had the triangle going on at the time, right? So within that triangle, symmetrical triangle-esque, and, and you know, from this, we're already looking for a drop to the downside, right? Because impulse correction, impulse to the downside. But on top of that, the order flow was our biggest heads up. And this is where experience is just absolutely key. Because if you just go off the textbooks, then you would have actually seen there was bullish divergences forming. And that is with a series of higher lows within the triangle and CVD making lower lows. That is known as bullish divergences. So reading the textbooks, you might be interested a bit too early to enter long trades. And we all can see now we would have got stopped out. But what was I sharing with you in this previous video? It was the order flow with the open interest paired with the delta of why we need to actually remain patient for a much bigger drop to the downside, right? We wanted to see the larger pullback. Because of those longs opening in the order flow, it really felt like they're getting a bit of FOMO. <laughs> so FOMO was coming in and we can see that not just through guessing, but with the real statistical data in front of our eyes. So when we look at it one final time, we could see, just, just let's just look at this, look, 14 million as we're approaching the highs, 14 million positive delta open interest increasing, 4.8 million. Then we actually got a little bit of move to the downside and started to retest the highs. And this is where the long started getting just absolutely crazy. Look at this 4.8 million, followed by 11 million, followed by another 5.4 million. And now we'll look at this 7.3 million new longs and the final, this was the final nail in the coffin, so to speak, 14 million new longs opening on open interest increases, high positive delta on the volume there. Another following candle, 32 million volume candle, another 6.5 million longs. And this is just goodbye longs. They are getting trapped into the highs. And well, sayonara, baby, as we saw a very big move to the downside. And really, it was kind of simple, though. We just had to remain patient throughout all of it. We saw the FOMO. We saw it with the open interest increases with the positive delta. We just needed to remain patient for a larger pullback on Bitcoin. Wasn't that difficult, really, when we knew what we were waiting for? We were looking and waiting patiently for those one-to-ones. -one. So on that first little fake out, never reached the target. It came up and it dragged in even more longs, as we can see here. And then we finally got this big old move to the downside. So where did we actually bounce off of? If you're unaware, let me share. Uh, we actually started to come back down towards the previous range. 
value area high. If you look at this, this was the last video on YouTube that I made for you, reminding you of the importance of the uptrend anchor view up on that previous range value area high. Just take a look at this one second. That is the previous range there. Value area high would be our first notable important level. Look how that played out, my friends. Wick to the downside, massive pump, or well, currently another wick touching that. What is that? The previous range value area high. In front of your eyes, the level was marked out. You can see the respect that it got. Lovely bounce to the upside, but let me go in a little bit more in depth, and then we're going to start to look at what we're expecting next for future trade setups, okay? But first of all, there's just some very important points that I want to highlight to you all. And that was back on the 23rd, right? On the 23rd, we had the pump on the ES and NQ, which helped Bitcoin rise. And then yesterday, around New York, right, we had the ES and NQ dumping. So that is where we had to take care on Bitcoin. And this was as we were getting this move to the downside here. I started to signal to my team. And this was right. You can see the candles for yourself. You know, I'm posting that in the group around three o'clock. At three o'clock, we're still trading here. And I remind my team. As we're coming down to what I was looking at as the range low, I remind my team that for me, let's take care on Bitcoin. Let's trade with the correlation. There's no longs to be had, right? We have to wait for lower. We're at the range low, but there's no swing fail pa failure pattern or failed auction. We're seeing the weakness on the ES and NQ. Let's just wait for the bigger targets that we have and lower prices to come. Well, that was posted at around 3 p.m. and we finally bottom out at 2 a.m., well, this morning on Friday, where do we bottom out at? That previous range value area high. So, you know, you can see the importance of following the order flow, following the correlations and waiting patiently for bigger levels to come into play. And that's where we had to come into play today, right? We retested that previous range value area high. Well, if we include the most recent price action, we were trading all around that value area high. And this is where I'm going to hopefully blow your mind <laughs> because not only we looked at the low there at that once again, previous range value area high. But this is something that I want to hopefully, let me ask you, let's see if you can guess. What was the resistance? What resistance held us down here? It's one of the most talked about tools that I have been talking about over the past six months. It's my go-to number one trading tool. Okay, I told my team this this morning. Okay, I tell my team this morning that something is very important. We are, of course, bouncing off of around that previous range value area high, but where are we waiting for the next big short trade to punish <laughs> some more longs? And that will be, have a guess, my friends, the anchored view up of the downtrend. I post this to my team clear as day. There's no other suggestion here other than the absolute key resistance today for that resistance support flip will be the downtrend anchored VWAP sat there at $71,500. That is the level I'm waiting for. That is for me the key resistance of today that I want to see us move up to and test. My friends, just look how this plays out. We start to see rises today on the ES and NQ. And then what happens next? Bitcoin follows along as we come up very close to the anchored view app. I'm following. I'm telling my team, get ready. We're a few dollars away. Get ready for that reaction together. What happens next? We done it again. Exact high called in advance with the most perfect bearish wick reaction too. Just look at this. Look at it, my friends. The wick reaction onto the anchored view app. That's the absolute high, which I remind you one final time because I'm very proud when I do this. You know, I was telling my team that is going to be the all important resistance to today. Just be aware of that anchored view app. Be aware of the reaction and look how perfect you couldn't have asked for more. That's the exact level we're waiting for. That is the hit into the level ending, of course, with a little bit of a wick rejection reaction for absolute wonderful short trades to be had. And of course, we celebrate once again together as champions as we make some epic profits off that short trade with a massive move to the downside. Wonderful to see. And actually, funnily enough, still retesting that same level that we were looking at uh, on the last YouTube video. Um, so let me just add this back onto the chart for you. So this was our downtrend anchored view up. You can see how we came into it also perfectly for that wick rejection following retest candle. Big, big, big move to the downside, right? Wonderful move to the downside. Retracing all of that quick move up, quick move back down. Love to see it, right? You love to see that. What was the confluence 
of that anchored view app? Well, simply a support resistance flip. So you can see for yourself here how you are holding support off of these candles. Okay, support here. What does it do? Flips to resistance. Support resistance on anchored view app. Lovely trade to be had. If I say so myself, that's a lovely trade to be had. If you want to be getting those trades before everybody else, if you want to know about the trades before I talk about them on YouTube, well, it's as simple as this. Get over to the Champions membership. I will educate you about these trade setups, how to take them, what you're looking for, and of course, giving you those calls in advance. Happy days. <laughs> Happy days, lots of money shots, <laughs> and uh, just wonderful to see people move these epic trades. Look at this guy, even times 100 shorts. Of course, we are now locking in profits as we come down for that retest. So yeah, you get in, you get out, you get in, you take your trade, you execute on the reactions and you take your profits when you come back and back test support. So that is what we've seen over the past, you know, 48 hours. What now will we be looking at next? So with that, let's take a look at the order flow together. We can see on the rise that we were seeing today, it started off with some epic volume and that continued throughout all this rise. And this is why this move to the downside was so quick. My friends, just take a look at this one more time. 21 million longs opening. That is a massive amount of longs opening of that high positive delta. But that got continued throughout the day as we see another 1.8 million longs, 6.8. <laughs> This was the big one. 13 million longs as we're approaching that anchored VWAP. You're starting to think, wow, what's going on here? Finally ending with a 42 million volume candle. So we're seeing high volume coming up into that downtrend anchored VWAP. The support resistance flip. You're left with these trap longs in the wick of the candle above 71,500. You're trading back down below. You lose the previous day equilibrium, right? Um, and then, you know, that's where we've come down today. And you can see all of those longs that have opened got liquidated on that move to the downside. So from that move to the downside, it's again, this is where I will say it's not really that important, but there is some bullish divergences forming. But here, this is all on decreases of an open interest. So again, these are just longs getting liquidated that have opened up throughout the day. So yeah, liquidation of longs. Uh, to, to form some slight bullish divergences. I would not class that as uh, important or relevant. So this is neither bullish nor bearish. This is fairly neutral, just open interest decreases. Not that interesting of a move. It doesn't offer us any edge or you know alpha type of play right now. So what would then we be looking at next? Well, as I've told you, we're currently bouncing off that previous range um, value area high. And so that's what we got as support right now. But what will we be looking at that if we are to lose this previous range value area high, so if we kind of look at this and we say, if we lose this level, right? So if we lose this level, what would we be looking at next? Well, naturally, the value area low will be a big target. So what that means is if we are to end up losing this and flipping it into resistance, we can actually look for a move all the way back down to $66,000. But there's one key level <laughs> that you don't want to be forgetting about within there, and that is from the low to the high, the CC because this sits on and around the point of control. So you got 67,000, which was a big range point of control. And then the medium term time frame range sat at $67,700. And then you got the CC just above it. So undeniably, this is a big support zone, okay? Layered from the CC down to the previous range value area low. But again, this is what, what this is the importance of, you know, understanding how it works in trading, because we do not target 66,000 value area low of the previous range while we hold the previous range value area high. So we come down and we tested it once, massive pump to the upside. Even as we speak, right, we come down and we tested it again for another relatively big move to the upside. So we cannot set our focus too early on the previous range value area low while this previous range value area high is holding as support. So I hope I'm not losing you here, but you do not look for lower targets while you hold support. Again, if we lose this support and we flip it to resistance, then we get the activation of more bearish scenarios. But as it stands, we are holding that previous range value area high. Uh, so we're in a little bit than what I would class as a, as, a, as a lovely range, to be fair. Clear and obvious support of what we've been looking at days in advance into very obvious clear resistance. And that is the downtrend of the um, the anchor view up of the downtrend again, which was just like I called the support in advance. We were also calling that resistance hours 
hours in advance posted to the group that that is going to be the key resistance of the day. It was the key resistance of the day. We got the most perfect reaction at that key resistance, giving us a massive move to the downside, but simply to once again retest the level that was originally offering us support. So this is now what something that I want to say that's very important. You ask me, Daniel, tell me what's happening next. I want you to tell me the trade setup. Are we going to pump? Are we going to dump? What is happening next? Tell me. I'm going to be very honest with you. And the answer is, when you ask me, Daniel, tell me what's happening next. Trust me, I would love to tell you what's happening next. Unfortunately, I cannot. Why is that? Because I, just like Every single other person in the world does not know with 100% certainty what's happening next. I cannot tell you whether we're going to pump next or whether we're going to dump next. So why are you listening to the video? You might question, well, so why am I listening to you, Daniel? If you can't tell me what's going to happen, why would I want, why would I want to listen to your videos? Well, it's very simple. Us as traders, we do not know. There is no certainties. We accept that. Everything is a game of probabilities. So we wait for those highly probable trades, those key supports to look for, for, for longs and those key resistances to look for short trades. That's what I can offer you. So I cannot tell you whether we pump or dump next. And I can say I do not need to know to make money. All I need to know is my next key support and my next key resistance. And actually, we have hit both of them during the past 28 hours you know, 48 hours, to be fair. Key support of the previous range value area high. And then once again, my friends, the key resistance of that downtrend anchored VWAP. So we're in a little bit of a range now. We're going to do one of two things. If we reclaim this previous, <laughs> sorry, if we reclaim the downtrend anchored VWAP, well, that's going to be much more bullish, right? For a lovely rise to the upside. If we lose the previous range value area high, well, that's going to be some lovely weakness for a bigger move to the downside. So this is key support and this is key resistance. If we claim key support and flip it, oh, if we claim key resistance and we flip it into support, that is a wonderful sign of strength for a move to the upside. If we are to lose, key support and flip it to resistance or oh, that is lovely to see a bigger move to the downside unfortunately in terms of new trade setups you have already tapped the biggest levels <laughs> being that high of the anchored view but that low of the previous range value area high so you know you had to be listening carefully from previous videos or once again be inside of the group to be ahead of those moves to have a long from the low and a short from the high absolutely achievable um so what are we looking at next we're looking for the reclaims of these levels i'd be looking for the reclaim of the anchored view app or a loss of the previous range value area high and until there once again we do not need to know whether it's going to pump or dump next we just need to line our sights get our triggers ready to execute on that trade so we wait for high probability levels, lovely bits of confluence to give us key resistances, key supports. We short resistance, we long support, hold the shorts from the high, the longs from the low. We're then happy to see, honestly, whatever happens next. It might sound confusing. It might sound difficult. And I'm not going to tell you that it's easy, but I can tell you that it's achievable. If you study, if you listen well, if you enjoy what you're doing, you will succeed. I mean, it's not an easy journey. It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. You're going to take a lot of losses, but lessons along the way. But what better place to do it in a community of winners, a community of champions that are here to support you, that are here to help you and, you know, want to see you succeed. So whether it's myself and the other coaches or the other members of the community, the family feel that we have here at chart champions you are going to make it i can assure you that as long as you do not give up it might be hard it might be difficult but you will get there your results you can see for yourself how well people are doing look at this had his best ever world series of trading results so far just i love to see this this is uh, a guy that i actually met in dubai he came to the meetup and just look at this I mean, you can see it for itself. He had three accounts within it. It's his best ever rankings. Uh, just just wonderful. And, and he himself, very proud. And I myself, as his mentor too, am of course, extremely proud of these results. But it's something that we've come to see more and more people doing ever so well. And so, uh, yeah, if you want to be in on this, if you want to be on the winning team, <laughs> come over to Chart Champions. I thank you. I hope that you've all enjoyed. And I've shown you what's possible when it comes to trading. Thank you ever so much. Hope you have a good day. 
have a good weekend and now you know the key levels to be aware of for losses or reclaims and if you want another video smash those likes if this video reaches 1000 likes i will do a special live stream for you to go live as we lose this level to talk you through the order flow of the next big target to the downside in terms of what i will take and if we reclaim this i will go through live on stream to answer exactly what we're looking at next in terms of the upper side target thousand likes a special live stream will be coming to you so if you want more if you want to know the targets live on stream hit the like button Hope you've enjoyed. I'll read all the comments. See you soon. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.